Hey everybody, it's Mike from Faraday Research. It's Thursday night and I'm doing some testing. So what I've done is I've taken the 9 watt light bulb, LED bulb, and I've hooked it up to a watt hour meter. So we can set the thing straight on how much it's actually consuming. So it's telling me right now and it's showing 8.3 watts. So let's go switch it over to voltage. So we got 120 volts. 120.7 at 60 Hertz okay so and it says it's drawing 0 0.097 amps to run the bulb all right so write those numbers down so we'll do it one more time 8.2 watts okay on the high 8.3 and then we're gonna go to uh, uh, don't worry about the kilowatt hours uh, 120.8 volts at 60 Hertz so I'll write that down and then the next test I'm gonna hook up the same bulb to my system and then we'll take some meter readings from um, the machine itself so stay tuned okay so here we go we got everything hooked up there's the light bulb there now there's a third wire on it and I'll explain that in a minute so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get the motor spun, get it going here. Just let me turn to do, hold the camera with one hand and get it spinning here. Let's get it going. So you can see the light is going. All right. Let me get the sink running good when I get it up to speed I'm going to attach that third wire I'm going to loop it back to the battery itself that's the idea of the test all right so it's at 48.21 volts right now all right all right I got it flying now it's going real good Going on, uh, it's about pushing 2000 RPM, it's going good, but it's going to work even better as soon as I attach this third wire. So, the third wire is the positive lead coming off the output. So, I've got a diode facing in this direction so it can't go back to the light. So, I'm going to hook that up. All right, we're going to let it run here for a minute and we'll let you see what the numbers are. So the one on this side here is what's going in. All right. I'm trying to focus a little better on it. So it's 0 0.03 watts right now. 15.11 amps per hour. 48.11 volts per minute. All right. And it's uh, pumping out uh, 734 watts per hour. That's what's going into the motor. Okay. All right. Now, the important thing is, let's look at the current draw. This is the big one. How much current the system is being drawn. So, get that up, up in a second there. Okay, amp hours, 0 0.007 amps. Now the watts is 0 0.3 watts. That's what's coming from the battery to run the system to run the light. As you can see, the light is fully lit. So we know by the test with the watt hour meter coming out of the wall, it's 8.2 watts. All right, so we're gonna work out those numbers in a minute. So it's very important. So 48.13 volts out at 0.3 watts. Okay, so 0.3 watts. But the current is more important when I'm worried about how much current. And it's telling me it's 0 0.007 amps. That's how much current's coming out of the battery to feed this motor to make this light run. But I've taken part of that current and now I fed it back into the positive of the battery. All right, very important. All right, so let's focus in again on this. 
sorry. So I'm more worried about what's coming out for voltage and how much current. So there it is, 0 0.007 amp hours. So volts times amps gives you watts. That gives you the how much watts is coming out of this battery bank to make this system run. All right. So we take the watt. We we can pretty well decide that it's eight watts. I would say a very very steady eight watts of power coming out to run this. I know it needs eight watts to make it run like this. Okay. So we're going to take that, that wattage there, and then we're going to divide it, um, the times uh, divided by the watts going in. I'm going to put it through the efficiency calculator, and you're going to see how efficient this motor actually is. Because the watt hour meter didn't lie at the, at the wall. Like when I did it on the wall of, of the house, it says 8.2 watts. This thing is fully illuminated. It looks exactly the same way as it did. But it's running on a different uh, science. It's running on a higher frequency and it's running on a different current and everything. So this is mimicking what the wall's doing, but a hell of a lot more efficient. So just give me a minute here. I'm going to work out the numbers. Okay, so I've crunched the numbers down. So the motor is taking 0.338 watts. To run this light bulb okay so you take the watts in versus the watts out and the efficiency equals 2460 percent this motor is running at 2400 percent efficiency because even if it were eight or even seven I'm still over 2000 percent efficient I can't lie, the numbers are telling me 0 0.007 amps coming out of the battery, right? Times that by the voltage. So voltage times amps, so 48.11, say, times that by 0 0.007, all right? That works out, I worked it on my calculator, I got 0.338 watts. So... The battery is providing 3.338 watts of power to make this 8.2 watt hour uh, light run. So I, I crunched it down to 8 watts, okay, give or take. It's still showing me well over 2400% efficiency. So call it what you want. Uh, these are the numbers I'm getting. I showed you in real time exactly what it is. And I know exactly what this light bulb will do, and you can tell it's fully illuminated. It's blinking a little bit. I want to get the system higher than what it's going as far as speed. I'm working on that. Um, yeah, if I were to go to a lower wattage thing, there wouldn't be any blinking at all. It'd be solid. But that's that's rated at nine watts. But I proved that it's not nine watts. It's actually eight point two watts. That's at one hundred and twenty volts. AC at 60 Hertz okay so I'm using a different method to get the same result so this thing's only requiring 0.338 watts to run this to actually make this light run so call it what you want guys these are the numbers I have um, I'm sure I'm gonna get a shitload of uh, comments below about this so um, I'm ready so uh, if you haven't become a member, bottom right hand corner. Also, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Also, in the description, I have all the links for my PayPal donate and my Patreon page. Um, all your support is greatly appreciated, and uh, we'll see everybody soon.